our second speaker is Matthew Boyce, and his speech is called A Case for MOOCs. Please help me welcome Matthew Boyce. So MOOCs are massive open online courses, and this really ties into professional development. Today I will be talking about professional development. First I will give a uh, small success story, uh, then I will talk a little bit about the reasons why I think everyone should consider some professional development on the side. Uh, finally, I will give a brief overview of the different online platforms that are available. The success story is actually my own because in 2011, I made a transition from being an educator to going into the business world. And this is a bit of a leap. I started uh, right away with an MBA program. And at the same time, I realized that the skills that I had to offer really weren't very closely aligned with what I needed to be able to offer to a business. So I started to learn right away Excel. And that was my very first uh, focus for my online learning. I made sure to learn pivot tables, macros, advanced formulas, and some of the new applications such as Power Query and Power Pivot. I really believe that this knowledge and this learning helped open doors and also helped make me more successful in the uh, workplace environment. So I feel very indebted to the online learning platforms. The reasons I believe that everyone should do some professional development on the side really are four. First, marketability. I think that every employee who shows that they are learning some on the side makes themselves a bit more marketable. I think that uh, it shows that they may have a growth mindset and that they may be able to adapt more to new technologies and new processes. I also think that it's very useful. You acquire these skills that may make your job easier, may make you more efficient. Uh, Power Query and Power Pivot, for example, allow you to work with millions of rows of data in Excel, where Excel usually is limited to just over a million. <laughs> the next reason I believe you should all, or not, well, everyone should do some professional development, is time. Because really, it's a very low amount of time that's required to do professional development. Just five minutes a day of lynda.com, for example, and in one year, you will have completed 30 hours of education, which is enough to complete the full set of courses for mastering Excel. Finally, the last reason I think that professional development online is a great idea is enjoyment. Martin Seligman, a famous psychologist who studies happiness, makes a distinction between pleasure and enjoyment. Pleasure, he compares to a bowl of ice cream or a TV show. It's passing, it's fleeting, and it doesn't really change you or have much of an effect on you. Whereas enjoyment is something that requires an investment of time, sometimes effort, and sometimes when you're doing it, it's not even fun. But at the end, you feel so much better. It has a transformative quality to it. Uh, some examples he gives are exercise, learning, tending a garden, things of this nature. So those are the reasons I think that professional development is well worth everyone's time. The platforms that are available, first, the free platform. And really, MOOCs, by definition, should be free. The first platform, believe it or not, I would say is YouTube. YouTube offers a wide variety of um, videos on actually professional topics. It's very surprising. Most any program that you might be interested in learning has good quality videos on YouTube. The next recommendation would be to go to the website of the, uh, the business. For example, Tableau, which is a data visualization software, has hours of free content to introduce you to the Tableau environment. The next group is payment optional. This would include lynda.com, Coursera, and EDX. All of these are offering free courses, but you can pay if you want to it, and that will just allow you to place a certification of achievement at the end of your class on your LinkedIn account. 
but you do not have to pay to get the knowledge. Coursera and EDX have courses that are from major universities, such as MIT, Stanford, and um, other, other universities that are very famous. And these courses cover a wide range of interests, everything from computer programming to project management and Six Sigma. Finally, the last is the tier where you have to pay. This would include Udemy, Pluralsight, Datacam, and Udacity. Udacity does offer some free courses, but the best courses do cost money. They're usually a couple hundred dollars per course. So whatever your interest may be, there is an online course for you to improve your skills or gain new skills. The cost is minimal, sometimes free, and very little time, and the payoff is pretty much guaranteed. Thank you very much.